Welcome to a very special Sonia show. I'm here in White Sands, Petria's most luxurious community, where in the upcoming days, President Tyrak is set to make a big announcement from Presidential Park. Will it be to announce his candidacy for the upcoming election? And will the Black Brigades, the same terrorist group responsible for the attack at the wall in 86, try to interfere? Cowards. You'll just have to tune in here to GNN to find out. What's that? Oh my! I've just received word that a large sandstorm is set to hit White Sands in only a few days as well. If you recall, the last sandstorm to hit White Sands, Sandstorm Colton, caused extensive damage. But don't worry. Authorities have confirmed all precautions will be taken to assure nothing like that occurs again. White Sands. What a truly wonderful place to live. And I would know. Like President Tyrak himself, I'm a resident too. And that has been your Sonia show. Total BS. Say you were gonna stop playing that thing? <laughs> Oops, guess I forgot. Sorry. I don't have a dog, see? You know that. Nah, I was thinking about Aya, see? 
and pre-White Sands, you know? It's seriously crazy all that's happened in just two years. Aya, I mean, she was my best friend, Z. Before you, anyway. All the drilling, the pollution, it, it took her so quick, man. I, I barely had the chance to say goodbye. She's never coming back, you know? Never again. She's gone. Time heals all wounds. See, going hard with the cliches. Effing cancer. Effing petrin oil. Anyway, thanks for listening. I forgive you for blasting my eardrums. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I guess we all got our demons, huh? Sorry, but maybe you should. See, you were at the wall in 86. You saw all that go down. So messed up. You need to talk to somebody before all that eats you up inside. I'm telling you, Z. Attention, citizens. Works are ongoing in the residence. Hey, sounds like they're setting up the park stage. Probably for something lame like a little Tyrax concert. Please, act like you don't know the little Tyrax. Probably got their posters somewhere in your room. Weren't you gonna go to a concert of theirs once with your dad? That sucks. But he is a busy man, I mean. He's the Minister of Oil. Look, I gotta go. I'm supposed to meet my mom at the square. See you later, Z. <laughs> later, Kay. Say hi to your mom. Will do. Oh, and check out the tape I left you. Sure, man. Catch you later. Everything okay, young blood? Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. Look, it won't be much longer now. We're close to getting the codes. 
Just remember the deal. Robert's counting on you. Who is that, Kaido? What are you hiding from me? To protect, protect our, our nation, nation, all, all citizens, citizens workers, workers, and residents, residents must, must work, work together. together. Thank, Thank you. you. Check, check. Oasis Villas, home sweet home. Attention, Attention. National, National Anthem, Anthem time, time has begun. Yeah. Free! Whoa there. Colton Tyrak, ten years old, but a thousand years wise, has reserved this swing set. Free! Ooh, yeah. Colton would prefer you didn't actually talk to him. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Wait! Colton has spoken! You may stay, if... If you give me a push that is both firm and gentle. Colton would like you to push him. This is quite an honor. You will find pushing Colton to be life-altering. As long as you push me in a rhythmic manner, we should be just fine. More altitude! More altitude! I find this most agreeable. I wish father could see. Your father sees all, Colton. I find this most agreeable. I wish father could see! Your father sees all, Colton. <laughs> I just flew, didn't I, Frank? Wait till father hears about this on his answering machine. Z, over here! Hi, Madam Zoe. I hear you have a new bodyguard. Came by here earlier, introduced himself. Cool dude. <laughs> we made plans to go bowling. M Madam Zoe, remember when you used to babysit Colton? Wait, you babysat Colton? Really? Good thing you had that toy as a reference. Would have been lost in the palace otherwise. Heh? <laughs> you know, uh, that very detailed palace toy that Tyrek gifted to all Oasis Villa residents. Can I see it? Yeah, let's do this. Later, Steve. Later, Kaido. Hold up, you're dead. If he sees me, we're both in trouble. Wait, who's the dude with the mustache? Anyway, how are we gonna get past them? Godspeed, Z. Our 
Are we almost ready? Almost ready, sir. Ah, there she is. Zoe, I'm in the middle of something here. Zoe, I have responsibilities to this country. You know that. Responsibilities. Absolutely, sir. The Minister of Oil has many. Oh, I believe it, sir. I suppose I like to think of myself as a conduit between the President and the people of this fine nation. You're an excellent conduit, sir. Adam here isn't my bodyguard. He's yours. You heard correctly, young lady. As you can see, Adam, my daughter can sometimes be very peculiar. I can see that, sir. Very peculiar indeed. You are, Madam Zoe. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry. I'm Adam. Your dad hired me to be your new bodyguard. Your dad, I mean, uh, Minister Muller, thinks otherwise. A lot of whack jobs out there. Oh, you're too funny, Madam Zoe. But don't think of me as your bodyguard. Think of me as your slightly older friend, with a mustache. I hear that a lot, yeah. Adam, another word! Oh, I guess I gotta go. But stay right here, okay? Because you and I have some serious hanging to do. Is that guy gone? I can't believe you have a bodyguard now. The door's locked. Got the key? Dang, dude. You should, like, turn to a life of crime. You're cleaned. Nice. This toy Tyrak gave you. I don't know. I guess I like novelties. What the? I knew it! You do have posters of the little Tyraks. Nice try. <laughs> So, about the toy. Dang, we need to go. Adam Zoe, your door was locked. Adam Zoe, we were gonna hang. <laughs> cool, I bring wash, thinking that I always was a lost cause.
lock that dude in the garage. Your dad, I mean, Minister Muller, is gonna be pissed. What do you mean? Ever since, you know. She walked out a while ago now, Z. Have you, you know, heard from her lately? Sorry, Z. If you ever want to talk about that or 86, you know I'm here for you. So, you know how I've been working on this little construction project? Do you mind helping me with that? I could use a little manpower. K and Z, building stuff together. Nice. Ah. Well, it doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like anything, really. But it's gonna be a ramp. Skating. I mean, we've got the dope couch, but otherwise, this place is pretty spartan. I just need some help. I'll hand you some planks. Mind nailing them? See, you're scaring me again. Yeah, well, the hammer's over there. Here we go. Think of it as therapy. Uh, not that you need it. Two by fours incoming! Just getting started. Halfway there. Keep channeling your uh, rage. Almost done. Keep going. Stop there. Wouldn't want your arm to fall off or anything. You're not bad with a hammer, actually. Oh my god, Z. So, so scary. Well, that was fun. But uh, I have something to do at the park, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'll see you later, all right? And meeting you was like a dream come true You swept me off my feet And now every day I'm blessed And in my heart I feel I kiss your lips a hundred times A thousand reasons To stay right by your Park. Kaido said the stage here was being set up for something. What is mother? 
I'm so doing. The Tai Chi session is beginning in the park. Quietly. Dad, I saw John. Not here, Kaido. Daw! Sir? It's the weed whacking. Last week, we were in the middle of a huge Tai Chi sesh. Of course, sir. One happy again. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tear my posters, Madame Zoe. I have a name, Madame Zoe. It's Charles. I don't know why I bother. You don't know? Tyrex making a big announcement in three days. Well, I mean, it's a huge deal. You know, it was really tough getting all our equipment past security. I think they thought we were black brigades or something. Yeah, because the brigades have their illegal radio equipment. It's how they communicate. Man, I just hope the real Black Brigades don't try to sabotage the announcement. Well, you should be. Anyway, run up there and myself, a harder work. Gotta say, so far, it's gone surprisingly smooth. Madame Zoe, hello. Oh, you just missed Kaito, but I think he went down those stairs if you want to see him. Of course. Kaito? Kaito's always weird. <laughs> well, let me think. No, can't say that I have, but maybe you should ask Anzu. Um, Kaito's mother, I mean. Well, I should probably get back to work, Madame Zoe. That's what they pay me the big bucks for. Unless you want to ask me something else? Oh, what did this gentleman look like? Oh. I see. Strange. I'll make sure to ask Kaito about that. Well, I should probably get back to it. Have a pleasant day. Mr. Muller doesn't know about this. Breathe in. And... 
Breathe out. But don't hyperventilate. <laughs> Now, hold that pose. That's it. Feel the burn. Cyrus loves you. Okay. Time to stretch our growings, gang. It's just you. Just trying to get some sweet revenge. Cyrus and his Tai Chi cult are always giving my dad a hard time. Today, I draw the line and blast music over the speakers. That should mess with them. But I need to access the speaker panel in the shed. Dude, I thought you'd never ask. So, like I said, we need to access the speaker panel in this shed. But I don't know the code, and I can't ask my dad, obviously. K and Z, breaking into, uh, I mean, accessing a shed. This is great. Seriously, picking locks is like your superpower. Maybe there's something we can use to get in. Something to help us crack that code. is way too cool. Come on, get in there. <clears throat> Grab some batteries if you see any. Find the code yet? Come on! K and Z, kicking ass and taking names. Let's try it, come on! Come on, Zoe! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, time to plug my Walkman into the speaker panel. Got the bats? Nice! See that panel? That's where the magic's gonna happen. Cyrus and his cults are gonna pee themselves.
asshole! My children! Bring me their hands! Do me a solid, Z. If I ever turn into someone like Cyrus and his yuppies, put a scoop of arsenic in my cereal, okay? I mean that. I'd put arsenic in your cereal. You know that, right? Sorry, dude. Guess I got a lot on my mind. A little, yeah. They drilled too much and poisoned the soil, Z. That's why she got sick. But I've been thinking about the other side, too. <laughs> no, sorry. I guess that was confusing. Like, what's on the other side of the border? What life is like there. You ever wonder about that, Z? Well, I think about it a lot. All those stories about kids risking their lives, hitting the open road to reach freedom. Have you ever thought about doing that too? That's what I'm talking about. Z, you know. You know, you and I, we could do that, Z. I mean, we always wanted to leave White Sands, do a road trip. And we could. But then, we could keep going. We could cross the border, leave everything behind, start a new life. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's, it's crazy. Forget I said anything, all right? Thanks. So, what do you want to do? You know, we never did anything with the spray cans we found. 
down for a little hideout makeover? So what are you going to make? Yeah, that seems about right for you. Chill, that was a compliment. I don't know yet. I think I'll surprise myself. Art's better that way anyhow. The cans are to your left. your time. Nice! Let's check out what we did. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's popular with like, skaters. Hey, that was cool. But I should probably get going. My shift at the newsstand starts soon. I wish I didn't have a job, but that's just the way it is, I guess. I'll see you later, Z. Looks like it's just me again. What is up with Kaido? Kaido Lin, part teen, part ghost. What is he hiding from me? Square, where the workers live, like Kaido's parents. Oh well, the minister must have asked her to do this. You could fill in for Kai. Madam Zoe, what a pleasant surprise. Kaito is apparently ill and can deliver my papers. Convenient, right? You know workers, Madam Zoe. 
Not always reliable, are they? Well, never mind. Anyway, here we are with a stack of Petrian times and no one to deliver them. You? Oh, heavens no! This type of work is beneath you! That's... that's very kind of you. Are you sure? This is like... a job. Oh, uh, I... Uh, no reason. Bye, Madame Zoe. Well, here are the papers. Good luck, Madame Zoe. Hi! Madame Zoe delivering papers? Done. Thank you, Madame Zoe. I was just talking to Mr. Lin. Kaito? No. Why do you ask? Hiding something? No, Madame Zoe. Kaito's not hiding anything. Am I, Madame Zoe? Forgive me. Well, I should get back to it. Oh, if you'd like, you can check in on Kaito. I'm sure he'd feel better if he saw you. Thank you. You know where we live, right? Just down the steps there. It's one of the basement apartments. Bye, Madame Zoe. to begin lunch preparations for the residents. Madam Zoe, Thank you. can I help you? The Lins? Oh, I wouldn't get mixed up with them, Madam Zoe. I've heard things. You could get into trouble. Listen, all I say is, you want to be careful around them. The boy, too. Oh, 
Hi, Z. Yeah, real nice. So, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> I am so sick. Thought that was a pretty convincing performance, actually. Uh, what do you mean? I just, you know, got a lot going on, Z. And I just couldn't deliver the papers. Not today. Look, you want to sit down? You're making me kind of nervous. Look, it's just... Did you see today's paper? Tyrax celebrated in Colton City. It's total BS, Z. Z, the people in Colton City, they don't like Tyrak. In fact, they really, really don't like Tyrak. Because he doesn't care about normal people. People like me and my parents and all the workers. All he cares about is power and fattening his wallet. Because it's the truth, dude. And another thing. This story describes Colton City as like a paradise. See, it's not like that at all. There's poverty and suffering and it's just kind of falling apart. That's why Aya died. The pollution there gave her cancer. No. Anyway, that's why I couldn't deliver the papers. Seeing his photo and those words, it just made me so angry, Z. Still not all the way convinced, are you? Well, then I guess I'll just have to show you. Come on, Z. I know you're not a little kid anymore, but just close your eyes. You'll see. Is Carlson City really the place Kato says it is? I mean, the Atria isn't perfect, sure, but look at this place! Yeah. See? 
on, see? Open your eyes. I guess. I wish you saw things my way, you know, but I can't force you. Okay, I guess. Truth is, I don't really know what I'm doing. And this is my problem because... Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Ugh, fine. What do we normally do when <sighs> we get bored? Yeah, but we can't do that. Not all the time. I know. Truth or dare. I see you're super excited. Hey, you're the one who said you were bored, not me. I'm just trying to help. You go first, see? Truth or, you know. Wow, Z going with dare right off the bat. Bold. Okay, okay. I'll start with an easy one. See that pebble over there? Try to score a goal between the two cups. <sighs> Soccer's not really your thing, huh? Fine. It's just a game. I mean, I might puke, but here goes nothing. Satisfied? Nice. Okay, your turn. Let's see. Okay, got it. I dare you to do a handstand. You gonna do it or not? <laughs> Hold it. 
<laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I think I'll go with the truth this time. You saw that? That was... A family friend from Colton City. He doesn't have a resident card. We could get into trouble. Just to give my parents and I some info about our family and friends. And he gave us some money too. Z, I'm poor. That's why I have like the only basement apartment in White Sands. Dude, you live between Tyrak and Sonia Sanchez. It's absurd. Yeah, man. Now, come on. It's your turn. Truth or dare? Okay, why... Why won't you talk about being at the wall in 86? But you should. I know it bothers you. Okay, okay. My bad, Z. You're not ready. That's cool. Actually, I should probably get going. Sorry, yeah. I have a few things to do before tonight. For my folks. Look, Z. I... I gotta tell you something. But not now, okay? Meet me tonight at the top of my building. I'll unlock the door for you. Nice, you came. Didn't think you were, Z. Do you want to sit?
different from up here. Like a different place altogether. Sometimes I come up here to think. Sometimes not to think at all. It's good for that too. Oh man, for real. You see the horizon there? That's my favorite part. Yeah, and peaceful, though I know it isn't. Listen, Z, I got some things I need to tell you. First off, we need to talk about 86. I know it hurts to try to remember. You're scared, but I'm here. I got your back, see? No, Z. It's important. You can't always be running from 86 like this. You gotta face the truth. Look, I can't imagine what it was like the explosions, the falling rock, the screams. But it didn't go down the way you think. The brigades didn't cause the collapse. It was the government. You know this. But you don't want to believe it. Stop!
so sorry to do this to you. But I gotta tell you something else. And I don't think you're gonna like it. Zoe. It's about that guy you saw me talking to. John. He's not a family friend. He's... Black Brigade. Yeah, Zoe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're helping us. But they expect something from us, too. I don't know if we can trust them. They want us to get a file from Tyrax Palace. Yeah, that proves the brigades weren't behind the peak collapse. The government, Tyrak was. Yeah, and why I'm interested in that palace model. Maybe it could help my parents and me. The deal is, if we can get the file for this guy Robert, they'll help us get out of the country. <sighs> do, but I know who you are. You're my best friend. I don't know. I just know I had to tell you. It was killing me. Can we talk about this, Z? Please. Way to go, Kaido. Might have just lost another best friend. for May 4th. The stage at Presidential Park has been prepped for Tyrak's big announcement later today. Many fans, like Gwen behind me, are already here, eagerly awaiting the words of their beloved president. Will Tyrak officially announce his candidacy for the election? I hope so. Of course, I'll be here live, covering the event as it unfolds. Gwen, you can stop waving now. And now, the weather. The weather is perfect as always, but a sandstorm will pass over White Sands in the next 24 hours. And it's picking up strength, with reported wind speeds already reaching up to 100 miles per hour. Meteorologists, or maybe just myself, have named it Sandstorm Sonia. Of course, The Sonia Show will also keep you updated on Sandstorm Sonia developments. I'm Sonia Sanchez. And this has been The Sonia Show for May 4th. When stop. John? You're not supposed to come today. Kaido! 
note. Do you copy? I had a feeling. Good thing I got these emergency walkies so that I could always annoy you, right? Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm still mad and confused. You made me think about 86, and then you revealed, well, you know what? It's a lot to process. Well, thanks for saying that. But, like I said, I'm still not sure how I feel about all this. You're putting me in a tough spot, man. I guess you're wondering why we're not having this combo in person? I'm grounded. Again. Dude, after we had our talk, Adam caught me sneaking back into my room. Been grounded ever since. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. Look, I gotta go. My dad wants to talk to me before he goes to the park. I feel a lecture coming on. Meet me at my place later. I'm grounded, but I can still sneak you in. Later, man. Over. Get over here, young blood. Look, we got ourselves a situation. Intel says Tyrak knows there are black brigades in White Sands. No, I mean, we don't think so. You didn't tell anybody about us, did you? Tell me the truth now. Look, young blood, the situation being what it is, your parents gotta grab the file tonight before the cops close in. Well, we don't have a choice. Not if you and your parents want to help us. Here, the code's for the safe that we promised you. Don't let this fall into the wrong hands. We're looking forward to getting you out of this hellhole of a country, believe me. Tyrak's about to make his big announcement. I hope it's to say he's at death's door. Not sure, but whatever it is, you can be damn sure it's nothing but lies. Remember, tell your parents it's gotta be tonight. I'll pick you up at the spot, okay? So long, kid. First things first, I need to set things right with Z. Oh my 
great. You lost, son. This is a resident neighborhood, in case you forgot. Careful, boy. I could take you in for a comment like that. But I won't. My shift's almost over. You just head on back to the dorms. All right? That's a good little worker. Okay, now that he's gone. Uh, hi, I'm here. I don't know. What you said on the rooftop? You kept the truth from me. I have my doubts about the government being what you say it is. You sound like a nutball conspiracy theorist. I want to believe you, but it's complicated. You're welcome to try. In the meantime, I remain skeptical. But Big A, true love comes around only once in this lifetime. Have you told her how you feel? Yeah, right, Steve. This is Adam you're talking to. Hello? <laughs> Dude, I think we're picking up Adam and Steve's convo. Our frequencies must be mixing up. Steve's Adam's bestie. He guards the gate of Tyrax, remember? They chit-chat all day. You get the feeling someone's listening in, Adam? I do, actually. Gonna change the frequency. So long, suckers! Oh, we lost them! Well, we have to. Adam's in love. We gotta find out with who. If you walk around, maybe you can pick up their signal. Zoe needs her hot goss. Officer Campbell speaking. What's your emergency? I'd like to file a complaint against my neighbor, Sonia Sanchez. She tosses her champagne bottles into my backyard. Yeah, he's always complaining about Sonia and her champagne bottles. I think he's actually, like, secretly jealous of Sonia's drunken lifestyle. My friends, we all know Tyrak is a lizard king. <laughs> I don't think this is Adam and Steve, but lizards are interesting. We've seen him shapeshift many times. But what we didn't know until recently is that Flores is a lizard queen. So, no matter the outcome of this election, Get ready to have a lizard as your president, folks. writing her poems and fan letters, but I don't think she reads them. <gasps> That's them! Eh, uh, not to be graphic, but she wipes with fan letters. That's what I hear anyway. Oh, Jesus! 
they're back again. So darn rude. Hey, whoever you are, let Steve and I talk in peace. Changing the frequency again. Ciao, losers! I know, right? This is way better than Petrian soap operas. Officer Campbell speaking. What's your emergency? I don't like my neighbor. That's not really a crime, ma'am. You can't arrest him? Afraid not, ma'am. Oh, please. This is not a career, Luke. Hmm. Hmm, doesn't ring a bell. But this convo is nice and juicy. Well, it's a career to me. A career isn't being someone else's shadow! Dolores, I am an actor! Yeah, right. And I'm Senator Flores. Anyway, when are you coming home? About 20 minutes. Want me to grab some chicken? That'd be great, yeah. Look, I'll give it to you straight, because that's how I roll. That's it! You gotta confess! Tell her! Stop beating around the bush! Yeah, right. Me, Adam Kopchak, tell Sonia Sanchez I love her? Forget about it! So obvious! Say it yourself first, Big A. Say... I love you, Sonia. I, uh, love you, Sonia? Yeah, like the kid said, here's the deal. If you don't believe it, she sure as hell won't. <clears throat> I love you, Sonia Sanchez! Hell yeah! Now that's the love I believe in. love what you do. Well, bye. I love her so much. <laughs> yes!
first to get four checkers in a row wins, okay? I don't understand how anybody could love Sonya. I mean, not really. And meeting you was like a dream come true. You swept me off my feet. And now every day I'm blessed. And in my heart, I feel a kiss you live. I don't know about all that. But she's kind of fun. One time she actually let me into one of her parties. The things I saw, Kaido, you wouldn't believe. Okay, hear me out. On the small chance that Adam and Sonia actually become a couple, they should have one of those couple names. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged. It feels just like the first time, and I can't get enough. And I won't pretend, cause I don't want this feeling to end. I kiss your lips a hundred times, a thousand reasons. Chalk that one up to cheat it. Another one? So, I've been thinking about what you said on the roof about the file. Look, I want to help you get it. I mean, I'm not gonna actually break in. I doubt your parents would be cool with that anyway. But I can help you with the layout of the place. Yeah, seriously. If the file actually exists, big if. I can learn the truth about Tyrak, the government, my dad. And if it doesn't, And I get the satisfaction of proving you wrong. Which, you know, you probably are. There's just one thing you've got to promise me. If the file really exists, I want to leave White Sands with you and your parents. It's dangerous, but it's dangerous for you and your parents too. Besides, we always said we were going to leave White Sands together. That big road trip we've been planning for. This could be our chance. It is, and it isn't. Kaido, if that file exists, I'm coming with you. End of discussion. Then it's settled. Tonight? What? Fine. Now let's get to work. So yeah, as you can see, I found the toy Steve was telling you about. Steve wasn't lying. Tyrat gave these as a weird welcoming gift to all Villa residents. It was in a cardboard box. Adam helped me find it. Dude, it's Adam. Okay. 
attention, walkie-talkies are not to be used in white sands. Who are you talking to anyway? Have a nice day. you to move along. Young Colton is deep in reflection. I'll handle this one, Frank. Why don't you just run along and play? I can't, Colton. I'm your bodyguard. Always have to be different. Don't you, Frank. What am I doing, you ask? Well, I'm contemplating father. Yes, I would contemplate him in person, but Father tells me this is annoying. Alas, I must use this tasteful representation by proxy. Now, if you'd excuse me, I have some further reflecting to do. sound messed up. Wonder why. They're booing? Tyrex not on stage, huh? Oh, but my dad is. Due to an act of brigade sabotage, President Tyrex's announcement will be delayed. Cowards! Despicable cowards!
Look on the bright side. At least they don't know it was us who blew the speakers. After attacking us in 86, here they are, trying to ruin this special day, this special moment. Well, after everything that's happened, White Sands does have reasons to be suspicious. But don't worry, we will fix the problem, and Tyrak will make his announcement soon. In the meantime, I just wanted to thank you. Our economy, in particular the oil sector. I don't know. It... Oh, wait. Is Sonya there? Muller is so effing bored. <laughs> How Sonya of her. I dare you to do a Sonya interview. And keep the walkie on. I want to hear this. Why in the world would we do that? You famous? <laughs> Something important to say. <laughs> Wait, I know this game. Yeah, you ran off the little tyrants. Oh, he does have stupid hair. Yeah, whatever. We're here live at Presidential Park, where President Tyrak is set to make his big announcement. I'm standing with member of the Little Tyrax. Um, uh... Kim, your name! Thanks for joining us, Stevie D. Before we go any further, would you mind just singing a little from your hit song, Tyrak, ooh, baby. Tyrak, baby, yeah? What the hell are you doing? Pull it together! <clears throat> Tyrak, ooh, yeah. That's great. Oh, Jesus, that was terrible. So, you must be excited for Tyrak's announcement. Any idea what he's going to say? That would be amazing, yeah, and very unexpected. <laughs> Everyone knows Tyrak's first term was magisterial. What was your favorite moment? Yes, he has created this oasis here in White Sands, hasn't he? Thank you, Tyrak. Okay, so last question. If you could send a message to Tyrak right now, what would it be? Know what, Dan? I think we'll edit that one out. Put in some pics of Colton or the wall. A little voiceover on top. It'll be good. Okay, last thing. Would you mind singing one last time? I'm sure that first time was an anomaly. <coughs> Tyrak. Ooh, baby. Oh, my lord. Nope. No anomaly. And that's a right. Congratulations. You are the worst singer I ever heard. And I sincerely hope I never see you again in my life. Dude, you did it. Whoa. The crowd sounds really angry. Anyway, well done. Challenge accepted and destroyed. But you know, saying what you did, that was risky, man. Zoe, I have ice cream. Oh, that's uh, Adam. I uh, gotta go. Oh, I like ice cream. Hey, you sure you wanna stick around for Tyrex announcement? Suit yourself. See you later, okay? Just look. But don't do anything stupid, please. Well, they tried to sabotage this day, but they failed. Citizens, I'm here today to announce my candidacy for the election. The brigades can't 
hide from me. Traitors! For a future without fear. A future without forgiveness. Vote Tyrant! Are you... Are you okay after that speech? And meeting you was like a dream come true You swept me off my feet and now every Hey, could you do me a favor? Can you give me a tattoo? A Chill! It's just a mocker! I just don't have the proper equipment, okay? That doesn't mean you're allowed to screw up. Okay, let's scar me for life. Or a couple of days, anyway. Just follow the lines, okay? Cause I don't want this feeling to win. I kiss you lips a hundred. I'm always gonna feel this way. I love you. Your nervousness. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh.
<laughs> hey, not bad, man. The first day I met you. Don't let it go to your head. You just drew over my lines. But, you know, thanks. You swept me off my feet. I made some more notes if you want to check them out. And in my heart, I feel I kiss your lips a hundred times. A thousand reasons to say Colton sleeps there. We'll have to be careful not to wake him. Or he'll, like, want to play with us or something. Colton sleeps there. We'll have to be careful not to wake him. Or he'll, like, want to play with us or something. That's the only way to Tyrex's office. Unfortunately, his guards are always watching. To go unseen there, you'll have to turn out the lights. I've got an idea for that. That's Tyrex's office. The safe must be somewhere close by. And the file. Well, if it really exists. Cameras, motion sensors, lasers. Tyrex got all the security toys a president could ever want. Attention, white then citizens. Remember to register to vote. And to vote for Tyrex! Have a nice day. What's going on? Move along! Nothing to see here! Uh oh! Uh... Kaito! Stick around, okay? What's happening? What? Stay here. Stay here, I said. Kaito, what did I say? Officer, my husband's down there. What seems to be the problem? No problem. Just doing her search, man. Please. Just following up on a tip that there are some sympathizers in the community. Oh, I think you know what I'm talking about. Like I said, we got a tip. We're just following up on it. If you're not sympathizers, then you have nothing to worry about. But we'll let the inspectors sort that out. Oh, speak of the devil. Here they are now. Separate the kid, Rick. Let's have a word with him. Search the kid, Rick. Looky here, a walkie-talkie and some kind of note. Put it with the rest. Quiet! Look, we found all this stuff on you, or in that little apartment of yours. We're gonna need some explanations. Now.
got this because you listen to a specific broadcast, don't you? Yeah, the Black Brigade broadcast. When you could be listening to GNN? This one's on the road to immorality, Rick. And he's driving 100 miles per hour. What are those numbers anyway? 41186? I know those numbers. Oh, yeah? That's Colton's birthday. April 11th, 1986. Why the hell do you have Colton's birthday on a piece of paper? Oh, then you can answer this question. Oh yeah, this one should be easy then, Rick. <laughs> what does Colton like most in this world? Colton loves bonbons, but no. Daddy was the correct answer. Whoops. Use that to talk to the brigades? Is that it? Practicing to be a cop? I don't know, Rick. Something feels... off. Yeah, something just... doesn't smell quite right. A leaflet for Flores. I'm gonna puke. Smart, kid. Real smart. Trouble is, I don't buy it. Yeah, that makes two of us, Rick. How are things looking with the kid over there? <laughs> Kid's got BB written all over his shiny little forehead. We just don't have enough to bring him in. But give us time. I see. Peach fuzz. How about some water? This look like your son, Officer Campbell? Stay out of this. I hope we don't have to, kid. Zip it. Panic. Now we're letting the parents go. They paid the fine. Now let the kid go, too. Over. Let the kid go. What? Already? Get out of here, kid. But we'll be watching you and your parents. Understand?
He's waking up. How are you feeling? Yes, between the fine and everything they could find in the apartment, but it could be worse. We, we could all be in prison right now, Kaito. Don't say that, Kaito. And? Tonight? That's, that's impossible. Are they crazy? We don't know about that, son. They are just thinking of, of their cause. That's what we want, too. But it's just not a good time to try, Kaito. I'm sorry, Kaito, but if anything ever happened to you, just, just get some rest, okay? And here, you've got to be more careful, Kaito. What is it, Kaito? What? Don't be crazy, Kaito. You get rid of that thought right now. Do you understand? No, you can't. You're a kid, Kaito. You'd get yourself arrested. Or worse. Now promise me. Promise me you won't try something foolish. Good. Now that you're up, why don't you get some fresh air? It would do you some good. Kaido, are you there? Over. Are you... okay? Are you sure? You don't sound so good. What's going on? What? What? No. Well, you believe me, right? Good. Because I wouldn't rat you out like that, okay? Look, why don't you come over and... We can go over everything you and your parents need to do the job. What? Okay, well, just come over when you're ready. believe he was a brigade. I thought I knew him. You just never know, do you?
Your parents can't do the job? When were you gonna tell me? The cops are watching them, Z. I'll do it myself, okay? Well, you can't pull this off on your own. What do you suggest? I'll do it with you. But if the file exists, I'm leaving White Sands too. Yeah, Z. Of course. Good. Now come on. It's a Tuesday. That means Steve's working a double. Which means Steve has been drinking coffee to stay awake. If I'm correct, he should need to pee now. So there's got to be a way to open the gate in here. But how? Everything hunky dory, Steve? Lay enough the caffeine, I hope. I know it gives you fits. Hang up! When are you gonna learn, Steve? You're in for a long night. Well, take her easy. You're calling them again? What is wrong with you? Dude, you're calling them again? What is wrong with you? Are you really trying to call Tyrak? What is wrong with you? No one's answering in the guest room? Well, I'm really glad you checked at least, weirdo. Come on, stay focused. Uh, yes? It's Colton, he can help. Who is this? Funny? You don't sound like Steven. I suppose you wouldn't. Hi, Steven. Steven, I'm the ten-year-old son of His Excellency. I need my rest. The gate? At this hour, I'm in one of my many pairs of silken pajamas. I barely know you, commoner. How do I know this isn't some kind of elaborate ruse? Debatable. Yes, but I wonder if maybe she has lowered her standards. Lowered my standards? You know what? Fine, I'm coming. 
Hold on. What are you two doing here? Where's Steven? Colton, we need your help. Can you open the gate? And why would I do a thing like that? I love top secret missions. Perchance could I join? What does that entail? That's the person who watches the gate and uh, isn't seen when Steve comes back from peeing. Honestly, that doesn't sound particularly interesting. No, you'll have to do better. Uh, let's see. Uh... What? Honestly, that would be delightful. I find Frank almost intolerable these days. Fine. I'll babysit you, Colton. Yeah, you will. 7.30 p.m. next Friday night, and don't be late. Now come on, before Steven returns. Yes! The gate is open, and Frank isn't beside me. Okay, the side entrance, like we talked about. Don't let the cameras spot you. I got this, Z. Z, the guard's at the door. I'm on it. Decorator. Focus, Kaido. Yeah, he really does. First, we need a diversion for the surveillance room guards. Grind the railing, then trigger the fire alarm. Now! There. That should keep them busy. We'll go to the surveillance room, then we switch. Strange. I don't remember the hallway being this long. Take a left! Now! That was close. You need to go, uh, you need to go right! I thought you said you knew this place, see? I do! I mean, pretty well. Take a right! Now, we go... Oh, we go... Zoe! Left! see the electrical room, but there are lasers. Lasers, lasers. I like your confidence. Go, Z. locked. You can't pick it? Nope. But I have another idea. Here goes nothing.
my failure. It worked. Now they won't see me. Keep going, Z. Almost reached Kyrak's office. Secret file, here we come. The button to open the secret passageway should be near his desk. somewhere inside, if the file exists. Motion sensors, help! I think I stopped it. Keep doing whatever you're doing. Side. Come on! Hurry! Show me the file! The file! Where are you going? Ugh. Unfolds. I'm Sonia Sanchez, and this has been <coughs> the Sonia Show. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Kaido. gonna leave White Sands together. That was the deal. But you're the minister's daughter. Everyone in Petria would have been looking for you. I couldn't put my life and my parents' lives in danger just so that you could go on a little road trip. Kaito, come on, Vic is expecting us. Honestly, we... we were always so different anyway. Our friendship was probably doomed from the start, you know? Look, I have to go. So, I guess... I guess this is goodbye. Have a nice life, see? You broke your promise. And you used me, Kaido. But this isn't over. Not by a long shot. 
I will find you. White's hands is now, Zoe. Sandstorm Sonia continues to pick up speed and ferocity on its way to White Sands. We advise you to stay inside until the storm passes over. Storm? This could be my chance. First, I have to. I'm not leaving without my trombone, no way. A countdown is in effect. Two minutes to go until Sandstorm Sonia arrives. Wow, a truly remarkable day for news here in White Sands. I'm gonna need this. When I get lonely. One minute left before Sandstorm Sonia arrives. Please, viewers, if you aren't already, get inside immediately. Sonia, we should go too. No! We have a job to do, Dan! Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I've got to take this photo of my dad. For when I get lonely. It's go time. In three, two... As you can see, Sandstorm Sunshine is making all out of town! Who the F are you? Adam? You need a job? Yes. Phase one complete. Too. I need to ask you something. 
When I let you into Father's palace, you stole something, didn't you? I thought so. Look, whatever it is, it's fine. I know my father isn't the best person on the planet. Don't mention it. Zoe, I think I know how you can escape from White. Yes, but you'll have to follow me. You freed me from my shackles. Now I'll free you from yours. What? Madame Zoe is missing too? Zoe, come on. We don't have much time. Remember that movie you let me watch one time when you babysat me? The Killer Pineapple. In this fine work of art, the protagonist cleverly created a diversion to evade the man-eating pineapple. We could do something similar so you can escape. Do the trick. Hopefully, they're still in the storage shed. Now we'll just have to find a way in.
You got this, C. Nothing to it. Vicky's diner, the place Kaido's mom mentioned on the tape.
peeps. You got issues, don't you? Yo, this is Biggie's diner, and it's closed right now, which makes you a trespasser. Yeah, I'm the 14-year-old cook. Nah, girl, Biggie knows me. Let's me sleep on the roof in exchange for my technical savoir faire. What? Oh. Maybe it is. Uh, I'm Alex, by the way. But who are you? Muller. I know that name from somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. What are you doing here? Revenge, huh? Maybe I've seen this dude. But... Can I trust you? Look like you need a bath. Yeah, blue hoodie? Kinda torn? Yeah. He did kind of have a stupid expression. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, homeboy and his parents were here. And some guy named John looked like a bear, all hairy and wide. I don't know, homegirl. I didn't really speak to them. Biggie helps out families like that. There's a system in place. Let's take this combo outside. I got a van to repair, too. Unitasking is too easy. Anyway, but Biggie says if I get it up and running, it's mine. Haha, -ha. no, it isn't. Inside, it smells like feet and death. Can I ask you a question, homegirl? So, like, after you catch up with said kid in hoodie, then what? Yeah. You gotta keep going? Try to cross the border? That's what kids are doing. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You wanna stay and make a difference, right? Oh, guess I had you pegged wrong. Well, I was eavesdropping a little. I know. Kinda rude. But I think they said something about meeting up with a guy named Bob or... Mm. Nah. Yeah, that's it. I think they were trying to meet him somewhere. They spent a lot of time in the back room where we just were. And maybe they left a clue or something. What? Yo, you gotta toughen up if you're gonna be on the road.
person should be this talented. Wanna know how I fixed this bad boy? First, I checked the usual suspects. Battery, fuel injection system, head gasket. All looked fine. So naturally, I suspected something was wrong with the hydraulic valve lifters. But... But I was wrong. Problem was, you guessed it, the serpentine belt. What about you? You find a clue about where Blue Hoodie is heading? I'd give you a ride, but I can't reach the pedals. But I got an idea for that. Easy, dog. It's late. They're probably sleeping now anyway. You should do the same. You seen the circles around your eyes? Look like a raccoon. No kidding. But first, can you grab me some marshmallows from the kitchen? I need brain food. Alex is going to pull an all-nighter. Seat, home girl. You got the mellows? Thanks. Beautiful, huh? Petria might not be a utopia, but it sure can be a pretty place. better up north. There are mountains there, and forests, and the air is so pure. You should go there, with your friend, or your enemy, or whoever Blue Hoodie is. Did he... Did he leave you behind? I'm sorry, but... Maybe he had his reasons. Oh. Sounds kind of complicated. I know it's not easy. Believe me. But maybe one day you could forgive him? Hmm. Well, you should probably get some rest, right? Take my cardboard palace there. I won't be using it tonight. Teens gotta stick together on the road, don't we?
here are the keys. Look, he wants to see the kid. Why? That's what he said. He sees the kid, then he gives him the ID. Brigades, yep. No doubt about it. Yeah, I think we got cut off. You were telling us there might be some brigade activity at Big Bear. Strange, your voice sounds different. Look, we are here to protect you. Just take a deep breath and observe your surroundings carefully. Do you see brigades or not? There you are! Ma'am? I'm gonna ask one last time. Do you see brigades or not? I see. Well, good day, ma'am. Here, the keys. Robert's got the IDs. You'll need them to cross at the border. He, uh, he just wants to see you first, young blood. Robert wants to see Kaito? What? Why? Robert's just got a certain way of doing things, particular as they may be. All right, young blood. Just a heads up. Robert probably isn't in a good mood. Rarely is. But don't let it throw you. One other thing. We need to know if your friend is going to be a problem. She doesn't know about this meeting, does she? Christ. She'd better not. Could jeopardize everything. Well, it's time for this old dog to get back on the road. Viva la revolution, young bud. Now I really should get going. Got a meeting with some kid named Alex. Supposed to be a certified genius or something. Not gonna hold my breath on that one. But some advice before I roll out of here. Get the IDs before you give Robert the file, okay? Kid, Robert and I started this damn thing together. But sometimes you just gotta look out for numero uno. Know what I mean? Almost forgot. Tell him inside that Mr. Ursus sent you. A code name I have. That's important. It's just a code name I use with the brigades. That's all. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Lynn, young blood, good luck crossing. I'll be thinking of you on your journey. What are you doing? Putting the file in a safe place. You heard, John. First, we make sure we get the IDs. Then, we give Robert the file. And you should trust your mom. Okay, I think it's time, Kaito. Just get the IDs and come back out, okay? A trap? No, not after everything we've done for them. We'll finish getting the car ready. When you come out, we leave, okay? And then we can start our new life. Everything will be okay. Promise. What do you want, kid? Robert? Funny. I don't know anyone by that name. Okay. Now you're talking. You'll need the code for the door. It's the year of the attack. Oh! 
problem, Butterfingers? You see that newspaper? You can find the code underneath. I have no idea how the revolution's gonna succeed with numb nuts like you. Finally! Kid, having a party in there? These new recruits are really bottom of the barrel. Be Kaito. At last we meet. John told me a lot about you. Well, he told me it was you who got the fire and that you didn't rat us out, though you had every opportunity with that friend of yours. I don't like snitches. Snitches deserve stitches, and a bullet to the head! All about business, are you? I can appreciate that. But sit, won't you? I want to make you a little proposition. That's better. Now, my dear Kaito, even if you do talk too much to your little friend, I do believe there's a role, a very big role, waiting for you in the brigade. But I want to see how committed you are first. Do you know what this is, Kaito? Hmm? Well, sort of. But it's more than that, too. It's a way of life. A brigade way of life. Do you understand what I'm offering you? Oh, and don't forget about your IDs right over there. Oh, that's excellent news. You've made me very happy, Kaito. Very happy indeed. Something's not right. Come on. What was Kaido's mom putting in that car? It's not what I think it is, is it? Oh, yes! What's... 
What's going on here, Kaito? Your son just become a brigade, Mrs. Lin. You must be very proud. Now, I want the file. Give it to me. I want the file now. That's a good brigade. Take it. Take the keys. Waiting. Forget something, kid. Looking for this, Kaido? Track you down? Oh, it wasn't that hard, really. I always thought a brigade lair would be cool, but a rest stop? This is kind of lame, Kay. Man, you are so lucky I didn't call the cops on you. You almost called the cops? Oh my god! Are you hearing yourself right now? You sound like a monster! Look, I don't have time for this. Just, just give me the file, Z. Zoe, this is not the time to talk about this. You lied to me, Kaido. You used me. And you seriously underestimated me. It goes deeper than that. But hey, things are looking up because now I have the infamous file, which probably doesn't say anything anyway. Sorry, but I can't do that, Kaido. You want this file? You'll have to come and get it.
I wasn't thinking about you. I wanted to tell you. I read the file last night. As difficult as it is to say, you... We've been fed lies. Nothing but lies. Please answer me! 